ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We are back at Insurance Auto Auctions in Oklahoma City. We're gonna do a quick walk around. So let's get into this today with number one on my list. How about a 1992 Buick? It's an old Century. It's a custom, so it's gonna be a base model. You got the, what, what, what does Vice Grip Garage call the hubcaps? They're not food stamp hubcaps, that's TK. Uh, Vice Grip Garage calls them poverty. <laughs> It calls some poverty caps. I love that guy. It's got 91,000 miles on the odometer. It's listed as a non-runner. And honestly, the damn thing looks absolutely great for being as old as it is. It does have a little bit of damage on it. I'll be honest with you. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. There's the damage. It's got a broken tail light. Um, and honestly, that looks like that was something that happened relatively recently. There's no real damage to the body. The bumper, the trunk has a tiny little ding right there. I don't think that's gonna hurt the value much, do you? A cheap tail light on eBay? How much is one of these tail lights gonna go for? If you can find one. Hudeberg from Oklahoma City. So this thing is from right here. At least it's been from here for, for a while. It's been here for a while. What do the tires look like? Well, she's got a set of prime wells with excellent tread, guys even the fronts and those are the ones that wear out the quickest i think she's got a full set on her she does look at that would you look at that yes sir and all four hubcaps as well let's take a look at the interior i'm gonna just go out on a limb and guess this is probably a 3.3 liter i think that's what they were putting in these at the time I want you to take a quick look at that interior, will you? Look how beautiful those seats are. Look at that headliner. It is gorgeous. And you know these cars usually smell really bad and I'm always complaining about it. This one actually smells great. The doors open and close really, really smoothly. Very nice. Don't mind all that dust. Look at, I mean, look at the lack of wear on this car. This is absolutely amazing. Now, why doesn't it run? I'm gonna go out on a limb. Again, I feel like going out on some limbs today. And I'm gonna say, wow. <laughs> Remember these? <laughs> ashtray, uh-oh, the ashtray's broken. <laughs> I don't think anybody's ever smoked in this. Who knows, maybe they have. Let's pull out the... Uh, Let's pull out the cigarette lighter. They called it a cigar lighter back in the day. Let's take a quick look. Oh yeah, she's been used. Okay, so somebody has had a smoke or two in here. Boy, that ignition feels nice. That's butter. Okay, so I'm gonna go out on a limb and I'm gonna say the reason it doesn't run is fuel related. What do you guys think? I'm thinking with 90,000 miles on something this old, this car belonged to some older folks. And uh, this is also a 3300, I was right. 3.3 liter, I was correct. There's your battery. Actually, it's really good under here. I'm going to suspect it's, it's a fuel issue, most likely belonged to some older person or people. And it's, you know, probably ended up sitting for a long period of time. And here it is. And here we are today with it sitting here as a non-runner. I'm gonna let you in a little secret. This has been here for many, 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 many months. Many months, and I have been watching it, and I have been waiting for it to pop up, and it's finally going up for sale, and of course, nobody's bidding on it. This is a Cars for Kids vehicle, which means it's a charity auction, which means whatever money you spend, regardless of whether the car is blown up or not, doesn't matter, because the money is at least going to a good place. All right, I don't know what's going on over here, but let's take a look. It looks like, Somebody did some AC work on it, a &H Auto Air Conditioning. And then what do we got over here? We got System Guard, a &H Automotive. When was it? 73115, and that was 78 of 2010. So we know that it's had something done on it uh, in 2010. That was only, what, 10, 11? Almost 12 years ago? Oh, we got gauges. Ah, uh, another sign that it's gonna be a fuel issue. Fuel pump is pegged out full. 
yeah, she's not going to start. And I don't hear a fuel pump. She doesn't sound like she's cranking over quite even, does it? Oh, and I lost my battery connection. Uh, this thing is, uh, it's giving me hell. Are you serious? <laughs> this has happened like six times now, guys. I'm, I'm getting, uh, getting just a tad bit frustrated with the old girl. I'll be honest with you, this old car and me are not off to a very good start. We're not. Um, and I'm not going to keep chasing this damn uh, starting issue. There we go. Boy, she almost sounds like she wants to, doesn't she? No. We've got no fuel. Let's check the, uh, the blower works. Yeah. Rear defog comes on. Map light. I don't know if that works or not. What about the radio? Who remembers the old Delcos? Let's turn it on, uh, FM. I forget where FM is. There we go. Let's see if it works. Sort of. I'm going to guess it's been a while since this thing has come on. There we go. Okay, well, it, it kind of works. <laughs> Just it works a little bit. The trunk, I'm thinking there should be a trunk release button somewhere. We got the headlights, we got interior lights, important window. It's slow. I'm not going to take it any further than that, but it works. That works. We've even got a light up there that seems to work. I don't see a, uh, a trunk release button though, and I could have swore there's supposed to be a remote trunk release button in here, but I sure don't see it. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Well, I guess you got to do it the old school way with the key. I'm going to cycle it just a couple more times. Again, guys, I don't expect this one to run. I, I don't. No. Okay, she's not going to run. Let's check the wipers. They sort of work. <laughs> it's even got tilt wheel. Yeah. Turn signals? Yeah. The right one does not seem to work. There it goes. Uh, windshield wipers will not turn off now. Oh boy. <laughs> what have I done? There they go. No? There we go. <laughs> She's gonna need some kinks worked out of her, guys. The cranking is sounding a lot more healthy. The horn works. The steering lock works. And I'm just curious what this smells like. That is rotten. That's 100% rotten. So uh, if I remember right, these have plastic tanks. What is this going to take to run? I'd be willing to bet that if you threw a fuel tank and a fuel pump on it, hell, get ones from a salvage yard even, would probably work just fine for something like this. I'll bet you money this car get down the road with no issues. Therefore, I'm going to bid on it. Next on my list, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on this one, is this Mercedes. This is a Monkey Wrench Mike special right here, guys. He should be here any moment. It's listed as a run and drive, 123,000 miles on the odometer, and it's from United Cars LLC. It's all taped up, so I'm assuming there's a convertible top problem with this one. We may not be able to get into it. You can see they've got it taped up here. That's oh, because the windows... It's not a top problem, I don't think. I think it's that the, the windows don't go up all the way. And I do know there's a rip in the top right here. I saw that. But they've got this whole thing taped up. So it does make me wonder, yeah, this is not going down. There is a top problem. You got seam separation right here. And it's definitely separated right there. 
the windows down there we're not going to be able to get into this one i'm not going to remove all this tape just to get inside of it anyway a monkey wrench mike special let's see if we can pop the hood nope we cannot all right oh speaking of monkey pox mike he's way over there you guys can't see him but i guess he made it so uh he can join us and give us his thoughts on this beautiful Mercedes. Next, we have one of my favorite cars ever. What is it? Do you know it's what it is? It's a Neon, baby. It's a Dodge Neon. Yeah. You love these too, right? I've never owned one. <laughs> but maybe you love there's them. A, but maybe there's a reason for that. I don't know. <laughs> this one's special though. Do you see anything special about it? Besides is... the fog light sticking out? Yeah, the, the fog light I don't think is supposed to be sticking out like that. It's Look at this paint. Look at this paint. That did not come factory like that. Okay. It's got red. Oh. Yeah, like and red. Blue. Oh, it does. Oh, wow. It's a lot of colors. Like a diamond. Yeah. You should wrap for us. Give us a little wrap with, with, with now diamond. You're, you're giving away Di my secrets. <laughs> my car video secrets. Yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> I got to start listening to more Bruno Mars and figure out how he does it. Yeah. <laughs> so, Monkey Ranch Mike's gonna rap for us. He should just real quick try it out. No, 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 no. He's, just, okay, okay. Yeah, I don't want to give the. Uh, he doesn't want to give it away. We don't want to yeah. spoil his surprise. <laughs> this is a really bad paint job, though, Mike. This, like the orange peel is, uh, it's thick on this one. Yeah. It's a. Uh, well, but it's got chrome wheels. So, there's something. I always pick the worst cars oh boy they painted over the jim glover dodge <laughs> on the back <laughs> they didn't even sand it man they painted oh, right over it and the neon yeah they 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 wow. didn't wow <laughs> they didn't zero prep so the paint's gonna even the trunk lock painted over <laughs> yeah just the paint's gonna fall off of this car pretty quick oh and a, but they got a locking gas cap they were thinking ahead it says it runs. I'm a sucker for a Dodge Neon. Wow, yeah. Uh, we'll see. When's the last time you've seen a Dodge Neon? I haven't. Exactly. Well, I see them here all the time well, at the salvage yards. <laughs> <laughs> Just not on the road. Not on the road. <laughs> this one claims to run. I'll believe it when I see it. I haven't seen a running Dodge Neon in a very, very long time. But maybe today's our lucky day. If we're lucky, Mike, I could buy this and you could drive it. I would be proud to drive this yeah. right, right to fires. <laughs> no stopping. No well, rolling might down need the window. Gas. <laughs> the seat, uh, see, it's got power. Okay. It might start. This might be a real diamond in the rough. He steps back. Well, it, it 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 ran. Yeah. That cranking sound healthy to you, Mike? It's struggling to do anything. It sounds like a lack of compression coming from somewhere. Oh, that door is beautiful too. Oh here. Oh, it's out of gas, completely. It's under the E, and I hear the fuel pump. AC work? Radio works? What the hell? No. That's alright. Is it going to gear? Yeah! An important window? Yeah! That's okay. Ignore that. It's making all kinds of sounds. That's fine. It'll go away. Watch. It's a, it's a Chrysler thing. Here it goes. Here it goes. Okay. There. There. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> You're wearing a Mopar hat. Wow. Yes. <laughs> I didn't even see that. You're rocking a Mopar I'm rocking hat. the Mopar. This could be your first Mopar. It could. I will buy it for you it if was... you'll park it in your driveway for a month. <laughs> 
My neighbors would love that. Wow. It runs. Okay, it runs now. It does, and it runs good. It knocked for a long, long time though. Well, it wasn't. It wasn't knocking. It was, you know, it, it was. Yeah, it was. It was. I, I don't know. It, <laughs> it just it had to build up a little oil pressure. Okay. You know, the air conditioning works. You can hear the fan. It's got cold air. What, what the heck is all this? It couldn't be straight, a straight stick that has to do all this? No, that's a Mopar thing, man. It's It's got to be complicated. Wow. That fog light. There we go. Look, there we go. You fixed it. I fixed it. This one, let's see if we can fix this one too. There we yeah. go. Brand double new. That's what they say at the auction. Oh, it is? Yeah, brand okay. double new. It runs good now. It, 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 it does. What do you think the trans fluid looks like? Actually, it doesn't look bad. What little's in there, yeah. Yeah. I'll bet this thing runs and drives. Look, it's ready for subs. Okay. It may have some in it. Gotta see if we can pop the trunk. Maybe there's some bang bangs in there too. How do you pop the trunk? I don't remember how to pop a trunk on this. Um. Yeah, I don't know how to pop the trunk on this. I guess you probably got to use a key. I don't think it has a. Uh, I don't think it has a a button. Oh. Look at all those keys. A gas cap key. It's got. Oh, it's got a clicker. Hold on. It's got a clicker. There he goes. Yeah. Do it again. It doesn't work. Great. They painted it closed. They paint. <laughs> they painted the trunk closed. Yeah. In the. Oh, here's the glove box one. There. There it goes. You got it. Yeah. Okay. Do we have subs and an amp and everything back here you too? You want the big reveal? Yeah. Oh. Ooh, but country crock, that's good butter. It's not real <laughs> butter, it's fake butter, but it's good. Yeah, Jessica likes the real stuff. Yeah. And I prefer the... This looks familiar. You know, and spark plugs. Didn't we use this to put out a fire? We did. <laughs> we did, and it's got a couple gallons of that in there. Wow, okay. I'm gonna say maybe there's a little leak somewhere. What is that, is that a heater? Well, we had one of those, or no, it's an air compressor. That reminded me of that trip back from New York. Oh gosh, yep. Yeah, that sure did. Oh, there is an auto heater right there. I'm not digging for it. That's fine. But trust me, there's a there's a heater back there. So, yeah, I, I'm thinking I like the Buick. I don't think I really need a Dodge Neon in my life. Okay. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and close this up and uh, move on to the next one. I like the next one. Did I hear you say Mikey Likey? Well, Mikey Likey the interior. <laughs> You it's said the you needed exterior. A, I have a problem. <laughs> you said you needed a truck, right? I do. For haul. Uh, well, I do. Well, to what tow about and a haul. Okay. What can that tow? It, anything you put behind it. Is it, if it's got a tow hitch, it'll tow anything okay. you put behind it. Look, it's got good tires. Yeah. And uh, it's perfect for your neighbors. It's it's the perfect fu truck to the Karens and the Kins of the neighborhood. That's that's nice. That's exactly what I need. This side has severe hail damage uh oh it's really bad on this side oh um yeah. wow <laughs> it's that's some i'm surprised it has windows you know which way the storm came then. yes Woo. okay well it'll buff right out mike i, <laughs> I think it'll and look look at all the room you got in the bed here uh-huh i'm not gonna climb too far back here uh up oh, and it's got it's got the tow package mike it's got a ball on the bumper. Okay. It's everything you need. This really is not, aside from the hail damage, it's a great, it's a great work truck. Oh, and it's got the, what do they call these? Uh, I can't say the word because I'll probably get demonetized, but this. Oh. The, it's illegal. Okay. It's called, somebody can comment down below okay. and, and we'll see. Yeah. The seats do look nice though. I wonder look if those. Look at the velour. Yeah, it's, it's real real nice that's you know that screams 80s and 90s <laughs> but the dash looks good it's only got one crack 
The headliner is not good. Okay. Keys, it's got power. Charitable adult rides. So it's... Oh. It's got a smell to it. Yeah, and it's got spider webs oh. that are all over me now. Great. But look at this. Look at that. That's fancy. And there's power. Yeah, there is. All and the time? Where do you turn on the key? Oh, you turn the key on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn on the key. She's alive! Look at this. What do you think chances are for air conditioning? I heard the compressor. That yeah, that I, feels cold. I heard the compressor. Power windows. <laughs> yes, Mike. This is you, man. This is you. I got room for my my duck and my dog in the back. Too. There you go. See? You got those little jump seats. Those fold out into seats so you can sit in them. What these? Yeah. Yeah, just give it a yank. <clears throat> there you go. Seat belts oh, and all. You put your friends. You load up all your friends back here. That's perfect. I don't think those have ever been used, Mike. Uh, no. That AC is cold. It's got a phone holder ready to go. Ashtray, what do you think? It's been smoked? Oh, yeah, she's been smoked in. Yeah, she has. Look, it's got the books. Even the Ford Quick Start guy. Or that's not a Ford. That's the radio. There's your Ford Ranger 1990 Ranger books. The only question now is, what's it got under the hood? It's got brakes. The steering works. Gears. Yeah. <laughs> Good tires. V be a V6. Haha, <laughs> and it is. So yeah, it's a pulling thing you want. It'll pull you those little Mercedes you towed around. Those little ones? Those, those little, little Mercedes. white Mercedes? Yeah. yeah. It'll haul any of them Mercedes around. That's Not really a problem. quiet. I think this is a 3.0. The same engine they put in the Ford Taurus. I don't know. That looks newish. Yeah, that alternator is definitely new. With a new belt too. You can see the, the riding on it. Yeah. Fuel injected, not carbureted. I mean, this thing is great. What size is this engine, though? It's a 4.0. It's a 4.0. Okay, even better than the 3.0. She's ready to go to work. She's ready. She's ready. And I think this is a dealer-only type of deal. Oh, shoot. No, it means you can get it shoot. cheaper. I cheaper. can't buy it. Yeah, but I can. <laughs> and then I can give it away. Yay. Free of charge. It'll be one of my giveaways, but... Mike will be the winner. This is what <laughs> this is what he needs, guys. Uh, this is what yeah. he needs. I think I think you could get a lot of use out of this vehicle right here. Ugh. Yeah. Comment below, guys. What do you think? Does this? I think this truck suits him perfectly. I'd have to get some overalls. <laughs> we, we That's could, what I need. We could send it to make on, <laughs> paint it lime green. Then it would be they, fly. <laughs> and then you could do that that video you've been yeah. talking about. Yeah. yeah. Comment below, guys. Tell me what you think of the 1990 Ford Ranger XLT. As much as I'm making fun of it, honestly, it it really does run very well. It's got a good set of tires. It is it is really ugly, and there's no saving it. It would cost so much money to bang all those dents out of it. But it's a two wheel drive. It runs great with cold air, and she's ready to work. What more can you ask for? I think that's it. I believe we are done. Yep, that's the last one, guys. We're going to get out of here. But I want to say thank you to Monkey Wrench Mike. Go subscribe to him. You got a YouTube <laughs> please, channel? Please. I just hit 33,000. I was hoping you were going to say I just that. did. Yeah. Yay. 33,000. Look at him go. Go over there and subscribe to Monkey Wrench Mike. <laughs> see if we can get him up to 35,000 before the new year. Before the new year. I think it could be done. I think it could be. I do. I think it could be done. Go over there, subscribe to Monkey Ridge Mike. I'm going to put his link below this video. Thank you to IA for letting us come out here and walk around. Till next time, stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.